back inside. All right, Anthony, thank you. The Toronto, or rather the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation, has been hit with yet another scandal. The Auditor General has found that executives were wildly overspending on things like casino resorts and tickets for Leafs and Raptors games, all on the taxpayer's dime. Our Queen's Park correspondent, Sean Mallon, is live at the legislature with more on this still developing story. Sean. Good evening, Anne, and welcome. Well, you'd remember the insider win scandal a couple of years ago that cost one OLG leader his job. Well, now there is this, which already caused the government to fire the whole board last summer. At your community services center, I'll throw it back to you, Anne. All right, Carrie, thank you for that. Toronto police are now investigating two more cases of food tampering. They say five people have come forward with complaints of a needle embedded in pillars, Polish sausage, and kielbasa. The products were purchased at four different grocery stores, mainly in the city's west end. Police are urging consumers to check all packaging very closely. Coming up on the news hour, an out of control car plows into a crowd at a parade in Ohio. We'll show you what happened next in just a couple of minutes. Outrage continues tonight over Israel's deadly raid against an aid flotilla bound for Gaza. Israel now says it will begin deporting all activists seized during the action, but for a second straight day, protests were held right around the world. Ontario's hard hit manufacturing sector is getting a shot in the arm with a big announcement from General Motors tonight. GM says a new line of fuel efficient transmissions will be built at a plant in St. Catharines. The $245 million investment secures up to to 400 jobs. Federal Industry Minister Tony Clement says this shows Canada is a competitive place to do business.